Let me start the next story with a question. Are China and the U.S. patching up? We ask because the U.S. Treasury Secretary is in China. That's Janet Yellen. She says the relationship is on a quote-unquote more stable footing and that the U.S. is not looking to decouple from China. But that, we say, is only half the story. Here's the other half. The U.S. is expanding a nuclear alliance against China. I'm talking about AUKUS. That's a military club with three members, Australia, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Hence the name AUKUS, or AUKUS. Now, they're looking to bring in more members. A lot of names are being thrown around, like Japan. The U.S. is said to be pushing for Japan's inclusion. Others on the list are Canada, New Zealand, and South Korea. Apparently, they all want to join AUKUS and they have expressed interest, which makes you wonder, what will they call themselves? It may look something like, like this. Not sure how to pronounce this, but jokes aside, why do the original members want an expansion? They're hoping more allies will deter China in the Indo-Pacific. Which brings us to the next question. Is India part of this conversation? Officially, there is no such communication, but the idea has been discussed and debated. When AUKUS was created, the U.S. had ruled out an expansion. In fact, the White House had even laughed off the idea. AUKUS? What would it become? Jaukus? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Awkward AUKUS? I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. Look, I, I think, David, that um, the announcement of AUKUS last week was not meant to be an indication. And I think this is a message the president also sent to, uh, his, uh, to Macron, uh, that there's no one else who will be involved in security in the Indo-Pacific. But that was some three years ago. They seem to have had a change of heart since. Last year, the idea of expanding the alliance gained momentum. The UK made a pitch for India. In 2023, British lawmakers backed India's inclusion in AUKUS. More reports added to the speculation, like this one. It says Indian officials and AUKUS nations met. They had informal talks on emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, electronic warfare, and cyber tech. Reports say AUKUS nations wanted to work with India on all these fronts. And the latest reports and expansion plans also talk uh, along similar themes. They're calling it Pillar 2, the second pillar of the AUKUS alliance, under which current members will strike deals with new members. Together, they, they will develop advanced military technologies in areas like artificial intelligence, hypersonic missiles, and quantum technologies. Now, adding India to this mix could open up new possibilities. It could make the alliance more inclusive. Because as of today, Australia is the only Indo-Pacific member in this group. But can AUKUS convince India to join? It'll be tricky. Traditionally, New Delhi has shied away from joining any military bloc or alliance. India prefers to exercise its strategic autonomy. Plus, how will joining AUKUS help New Delhi? AUKUS was born not as a military alliance, but out of a submarine deal. Australia is buying a fleet of eight nuclear submarines. The British are designing the submarine. The Americans are supplying the technology. This is the foundation of AUKUS. And when will Australia get the subs? In the next decade. The first three submarines will arrive only in the 2030s. What about the rest? The plan is to build them in Adelaide in the 2040s. So no submarine, at least for the next six years. And the new members will be kept out of this submarine agreement altogether. In 2021, AUKUS was sold as a defining military pact. But in terms of deliverables, it has not accomplished anything so far. Meanwhile, China is tracking these developments closely. It is warning against AUKUS expansion. The United States, the United Kingdom and Australia have ignored the widespread concerns from the countries in the region and the international community about the risk of nuclear proliferation. They have continuously sent signals of expanding the so-called trilateral security partnership and have even attempted to lure some countries to join them. It will intensify the arms race in the Asia-Pacific region and undermine regional peace and stability. China is gravely concerned about this. Whether India chooses to join AUKUS or not, it still has avenues to cooperate individually with its members. India regularly engages with the militaries of AUKUS members in joint drills. Plus, countries like the U.S. have a record of sharing military intelligence about China with India. So to collaborate with AUKUS, New Delhi doesn't really need to be a member.